Hello and welcome back to another video with me Rusty. I hope you're all well and you are all looking forward to Christmas. We're not that far away from it now, so uh, I hope you're ready. So yeah, just want to start off by saying thank you very much for all the support you guys have given me um, over the last couple of months. Uh, it really has meant a lot. We are continuing to to seem to go strong and the stream seems to be picking up as well so yeah i just want to make a massive thank you to you guys um because yeah, without you you know none of that would have been possible so i just want to say a massive thank you to that so today's video is slightly different and um you might be sat here thinking why are we looking at a praxis so um i thought what i'd do is i, I would do an actual video um, just going over my my Praxis fit that I've been using to do the um, the Winter Nexus um, combat sites. Um, it's nothing special, uh, and I'll be honest, I didn't even come up with the fit. It was given to me be given to me by one of uh, the guys from the stream team, um, the Welsh Del Boy. If you've followed me on that, then you'll you'll probably know him quite well. Um, but it was one of his fits, and um, yeah, it's been it's been solid. I've been able to solo it, solo the sites, um, and uh, I've been able to complete my first ever uh, Eve event. So uh, that's uh, that's what I thought. I'd just showcase you the fit, and and then we'll do a little bit of gameplay on how uh, how I actually use this in a site. So without further ado, let's crack on with looking at the ship fitting. So the actual cost of the the Praxis is around about uh, three hundred forty six million. So it's not ex it's not too expensive for a battleship, um, but it's not the cheapest battleship, um, or at least the battle fit fit anyway. For me, it's it, it was a fair investment for me on my main character, which is what this character is. This is my main one. He's not my money character, so. Um, I was lucky enough not to be able to use money from my money character, but anyway, don't want to drag on with that. Let's crack on with this fit. So, with my skills in this fitting, as it currently stands, I can do 777.4 DPS with a 1.7, uh, yeah, 1,722 um, alpha strike, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. The defense on this is 47,544 HP, and we've got a fair, a fair amount of resists going on. Um, so, and obviously, 229.0% of that DPS that we do is from our drones, which we I will go through which drones I'm using. So, let's start off in the high slots. So, we have a small tractor beam one. Uh, this is basically just to help pull the the battleship wreck. Um, across to you um, to hopefully try and stop people from from stealing it from you, from ninjaing it, uh, and then warping away. Because um, obviously this is a battleship. We're not very fast. We go 93.8 meters a second, um, and we have no we have no prop mod, so no afterburner or micro warp drive. So we are slow, which is why we have the tractor beam just to help pull in um, that wreck a bit faster. Then we have six. Uh, I can't. I'm gonna have trouble. We'll have problems pronouncing this way. But that's uh, 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 Ebal uh, uh, I'm gonna say forget this one. <laughs> I'll have the fit down in the description below. So if I butcher the names, I do apologise. But the fit will be listed there. Um, but the rapid heavy missile launcher ones. Um, so they do take a bit of time to reload, but we have six of them, and we are predominantly using the uh, Mjolnir heavy missiles um, in in them. So we have got six of them and our tractor beam. So moving on to the mid slots, we have a Republic Fleet large cap battery. Uh, this is the help with the uh, with the newts that go on, and so it depends on which site you can get lucky. Some sites don't have a lot of newting, and the other sites, pretty much all of the frigates will have a newt. Um, so we have the cat battery just to help um, protect us a little bit from that. We have a multi-spectrum shield hardener too. That's just to get up our resists a bit more. 
we have a st stalwart i'm gonna say <laughs> restrained shield boost amplifier uh, and this is basically just to give us some more ehp from our actual shield boosters um yeah it just improves the effect efficiency of our shield booster modules so we've got one of them then we have an extra large c5l compact shield booster which gives us along with this a healthy uh, nine, a 790 hp bonus every five seconds we have a um compact target painter i'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that word we're gonna have we've got a compact target painter this is just to help with our missiles uh, to help apply our missile damage better and obviously our drones to help their drone da the drone damage um, help increase that then we have another multi-spectrum shield hardener again that's just for the resistances and then finally to round off we have a missile guidance computer 2 with a missile precision script, script inside it and again this is just to help with our missiles apply more, more damage basically is to help get the damage on there Moving on to the bottom, we have a Ballistic Control System 2. Uh, this, again, I think it's just to help with the... Um, yep, the help apply our missile damage, so it just allows it um, a superior effectiveness and lethality. It just helps with the damage. We have a... Photo Photonic upgraded coprocessor. Co uh, this is just to give us our CPU um just so that we can fit everything if we don't have it I, at least i can't fit it with my skills currently uh then we have another ballistic control system 2 then we have a capacitor flux coil 2 um increases recharge rate but causes the reduction in maximum capacitor storage so basically what this does is it helps our capacitor recharge um when we're not pushing it to the max so if everything's turned on we have about four minutes um obviously the tractor beam doesn't matter but we have about four minutes until we're we're dry on capacitor so what we do is we, we cycle our shield booster so we have it on when we need it and we turn it off when we don't when it's off our cap recharge our actual capacitor recharges quite nicely so it's uh it's quite nice to have this we have a, a drone damage amplifier too. This is just straightforward. It's to help increase the drone damage, about our, what the damage our drones do. We have another ballistic control system too, and we have another capacitor um, flux coil too. So that does it for the lows. And then in the rigs, we have a large capacitor control circuit too. I think these are all... So yeah, we've got two large capacitor control circuits too, and we've got a one as well. So this is just to help increase the recharge rate as well. So this combined with this, we get a nice recharge um, rate on the capacitor. So it's uh, it's not a bad little ship. For the drones, I'm using Kaldari Navy Wasps. Um, these are probably the bigger... Uh, the, the most damage I can actually fly with my current drone skills because I'm not the best drone pilot. I'm not a drone pilot, period. I'm a, more of a missile boat kind of person. Um, but yeah, so the Kaldari Navy Wasps, like you can fly four of them and I have five in there. I can actually fit um, two flights so I can actually put eight in there, but they are expensive. Um, uh, especially when you're out here, they're like f three million a pop. And these sites, um, yeah, they're just drone aggro. They they just absolutely love munching on drones. So if you lose, if you keep losing a flight of these, every time you go out, um, it can become quite expensive. So what's that? Four drone? Yeah, so eleven million for another full set. So if you're running two, that's twenty million. Um, so yeah, not not the cheapest things to to fly, but they do do quite a lot of damage. And that will basically cover the the fit. Um, there's not much more really to it. I mean, the actual um, strategy, I guess, is another way of putting it. Um, for the site is is like every other battleship. You just warp in and sit there and you know shoot your missiles and and uh, blow things up. So, um, but. Uh, 
if we look at the actual skills for the Praxis, the Praxis is probably the one of the battle. The only, I think it's one of the only battleships. Um, uh, you don't really need any requirements in. You just need Spaceship Command One to be able to fly it, um, and it has uh, roll bonuses um, that are applied regardless of whatever level you have your large hybrid turrets or your energy turrets or any of this kind of stuff. It's just a flat 25 to heavy missiles, cruise missiles, torpedoes, 50% to drone, uh, 37.5 to core and combat approach ground strength, which we don't really care about. Um, but it is basically the, the easiest battleship you could probably get into. Um, uh, and it's alpha friendly as well, so you don't need to have a mega to, um, to pilot it. So, uh, yeah, that is the ship. That's the fit. The strategy literally is to warp to the site and blow it all up. I'm sure by now there are loads, you've seen loads of people's videos on the Winter Nexus sites and how to run them. And I'm sure you've seen loads of fitting videos. So, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm, uh, I'm actually just going to have a look and see if I can find any of the sites nearby. Um, and again, you've probably seen this a hundred times before, but you're looking for metaliminal storms. And I'm looking for my closest one. It's probably this one, so I'm gonna set my destination there. And then when I basically I'm gonna head out there now. So when, once I get there, um I will I'll bring you back. So I'll I'll see you shortly. Right, okay, so we're in the system where we could see some storms. Um, where the storms are likely to spawn. There is one in here, so we're looking for anything that's right storm forward. I think it's basically forwarding op um, operations base. So basically just warp to zero at this. You'll land on a gate, a um, an acceleration gate. Um, but what we do before we get in there is we want to make sure the site's empty before we warp in. Yeah, so anything with the right storm forward base, you're looking for any of these. So we're going to land in front of this gate. If it's your first time doing it, you will get a reward. So make sure you claim it. And that will take you on to step two. Once you've landed on the outside of the gate, drop your range of your D-scan down to one. Or five. Either should be fine. And then scan. And if there's any ships in the site, they'll appear. So this site is actually empty. So we can actually go through and... Uh, have a look at this. Um, before you make sure you go in, make sure you turn on your tanks. Make sure you turn your tank on. I'm always forgetting to turn my tank on. And to put on your range script. So we want both your hardeners and your guidance computer. You can leave these running in a system. So if you're flying to site to site within a system, you can leave them running. There's no need to turn them off. Okay. So that's it. We are in the site. We're going to switch over to my drone tab. I've got my wasps there ready. Um, and basically when you warp in, the the NPCs will actually warp out and then warp back to you. Um, and then when they're ready, start locking them up. I like to, to deal with the uh, frigates first, but you should probably do the uh, cruisers. Um, as you can see, we've got some nuting power and a warp disruption going on. So we're just going to cycle the uh, shield booster on and then we're gonna so I like to pop the frigates first drop your drones put on your target painter fire your missiles and basically rinse and repeat now you will have to keep an eye on your drones health like a hawk because as you can see they're already everything else is already yellow boxing which means they're targeting my drones already which is why I like to get rid of the frigates because then they're less likely to deal damage to the drones so you can see we can take out the uh, 
the frigates quite easily. We can actually turn off our booster now. I'm going to pull that drone back in because he's taking a bit of a hammering. Move on to the first cruiser. I did want you to come back, thank you. There we go. So again, we're just keeping an eye on the drones. Generally with this fit as well, when you reload, pull your drones back because there is a long 35 second reload time with this. So I'm going to pull my drones back in now. I'm going to shoot my last missile. And then we're going to have to wait 30, yeah, about 35 seconds for the reload. And that's just unfortunately because it's a rapid heavy. So yeah, still waiting for a drone to return. Wow, okay. We're going to cycle our shield booster one more time. A couple more times, I should say, just to bring up a health. Yeah, I, I've obviously, if you take out the cruisers, you're going to take less inbound DPS, but like I said, I like to get rid of the frigates just to hopefully try and save my drones. Okay, so we've reloaded. We're going to start firing. The drones will go back out again. Make sure you sh put the drones on the same target you're firing at. You can probably hear me tapping F furiously on the keyboard because I want them to attack that ship. Again, we're just going to cycle our shield booster. As you can see, our capacitor recharges super fast once it's turned off. So I'm going to turn that back off. And then we've got the last cruiser. Now, what happen What will sometimes happen is sometimes a ship will get stuck on the outskirts. If you see there's a ship on the outskirts, like who's like a couple of hundred kilometers away, um, don't kill everything close to you, because what will happen is if you kill everything close to you, it will not warp to you, and it will bug out the site. So, uh, make sure you leave uh, something in here, and then it will eventually warp to you, and then you can carry on killing things. And just in case you didn't know. So once this cruiser goes down, I'm going to recall my drones. Um, I'm going to probably get another reload on. That's it. So we're going to bring the drones in. I'm going to reload my missiles. Cycle my booster so it's up because the battleship will spawn in now. And it will usually spawn in behind us over here somewhere. So you want to make sure your drones are in so they don't get aggroed by the battleship because the battleship will pretty much one-shot them. And to prove me wrong, the battleship spawns to my left. So as soon as it gets in, lock it up, stick your target painter on, wait for your missiles to finish reloading, and then just cycle your... Oh, also, don't forget to claim your next thing. So you have to kill five Sancha ships claim that and then the next one is going to be kill the battleship so i'm just going to cycle that now missiles are reloaded so i'm going to fire them drones go back out and what we can actually do is we can leave our booster running because our capacitor is quite full and that's it we're just going to sit here and let the missiles and drones do the work for us what you may find is you may need to do another reload cycle um, that's fine just keep an eye on the drones and make sure that he doesn't start to yellow box if, if he does you're going to have to pull the drones back straight away so what normally ends up happening for me is I end up running out of missiles just as he's about to die and he's died so recall your drones lock up your prize get your tractor beam ready to go you can turn off your shield booster now so there's your drones see that tractor beam really comes in handy now when you're uh when you've done it and 
once it gets within about that range. Loot it, so I got 5 million from that one. Uh, if you want to, you can drop a mobile depot down. Um, I probably won't for the sake of the video. Um, and that's it. Just don't forget to claim your reward. So you've defeated the battleship, claim it. And then that will tick you along quite nicely. So that that is pretty much it. So I will catch you back at the station for the closing remarks. So there we go, guys. We're back at the station. Um, what I meant to say before I actually left the site is, I don't know why I've actually got a mobile depot in my ship hold. It should be an MTU. If you take an MTU with you, you can drop that out and it'll pull in the other wrecks and you can get a little bit of extra isk from them if you want to. So I have no idea why I'm using a mobile depot. I need to swap that out. But anyway, we're back at the station and uh, we're just going to drop off our loot. Uh, oops, sorry. So I'm just going to drop my loot off into my item hanger. And I'm just going to show you what I've managed to um, haul in doing just doing that event. Literally just warping from site to site to site. And then just killing the battleships. And this is just battleship loot. So I've got over 644 million here. So just over half a billion of ISK. Um, and that is um, also some stuff that I've... That's not including some of the stuff I've given away in... Um, giveaways on my stream so i actually had a faction orb scrammer drop which was worth over 100 million nearly 200 million on its own which um one one lucky viewer won in the giveaway um i mean i've had loads of other skins that i've given away as well which were quite expensive so but that's just what you can kind of expect if you haven't you know felt like you can do the event um that's what you can kind of get um, and like I said, that was literally just doing the actual from zero to to nine to, uh, to nine hundred. I've gone over a little bit because I'm just trying to farm some loot, but that's what you can kind of expect. And uh, the battle this this Praxis was my first ever battleship I ever piloted. Um, I hadn't piloted a battleship until that point. But um, anyway, guys, that will do it for this video. Um, let me know if you like the fitting video. I don't. I, this is the first one I've done. I thought it'd be appropriate for this kind of event. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If I did well, obviously I need to work on my pronunciation of some modules, but uh, that will come with time. Um, but other than that, yeah, let me know what you think. If you want to see some more, just let me know in the in descriptions below, and I'll be more than happy to share some of my my fits with you but um yeah if you've made it this far in the video thank you very much for your time um and uh, if you haven't already done so please drop it a, a like uh, a subscribe and obviously a comment um but anyway guys i'm going to leave you here so um you will stay safe fly safe and i'll catch you in the next one